Well, only on CBS 12 News this morning are politics impacting your social well-being and mental health. Well, according to a new study, the answer is yes. The CBS 12 News reporter Stephanie Valderrama is digging into the findings of the nationwide study conducted by the University of South Florida. She joins us now live in the studio with more. Steph? Good morning, Matt and Sam. So there are many factors contributing to the mental health crisis, both in Florida and really across the country. As we have previously reported, everything from adjusting to life post-pandemic, social media, work, our relationships, even watching the news. But now this new study reveals just how much the current political climate is affecting Americans. With the rematch between President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump set for November, politics are once again front and center for Americans. For Floridians, voters will decide the future of recreational marijuana use and abortion access. Is politics a stress in your life? Yeah, a little bit, just in the fact that these are the two choices we've got. There should be better choices in America. I, I don't think I'm all stressed out about it. I feel like everybody should believe what they want to believe. Has politics become a stressor in your everyday life? Not really. How much stress do you think it causes you like day in and day out? My family is very divided and so we can't talk about it at all and that puts a real stress on my relationships with my family and my friends. Associate Professor Stephen Neely tells CBS 12 News about two-thirds of the 1,500 people that took part in a new survey conducted by USF says the current political climate is a source of stress. Just over a third admitted to losing their tempers over politics or admitted to their political beliefs leading to conflicts with family or friends. Um, have you gotten into any arguments with family or friends over politics? No. Have you gotten into like any fights with family members or friends over politics? Uh, definitely some heated discussions. <laughs> definitely, yeah. Have you gotten into fights or disagreements with family members or friends over politics? No. No? No. All my family members is uh, what I call the right side. In order for society to function, people of different political views have to find common ground and work together. But that's the opposite of what Neely discovered through this survey. They increasingly don't like one another as people, uh, which is very problematic for a lot of reasons. Another shocking discovery, about 15% of people surveyed say politics is causing them to lose sleep. Now, in Neely's opinion, the lack of sleep combined with the stress and anxiety of the political climate will contribute to the growing mental health crisis. Um, and we're really encouraging people to the extent we can, you know, it's okay to do a digital detox. It's okay to stay off social media for a while. It's okay to not worry about trying to convince other people that your position is right. It doesn't matter. Those conversations almost never lead to anything fruitful, but they can lead to some very destructive things for your health. So another interesting find from this survey is just how much Americans actually rely on social media to keep up with politics. More than half of those surveys surveyed actually turned to social media to get their political news, but they reported that engagement is mostly negative. Now, several people that we talked to also tell us they don't feel a lot of confidence in the online outlets that seem to be pushing out this information. And another thing I found really interesting was while I was out speaking with our community, almost everyone that I spoke to admitted that they actually avoid talking about politics in general with family and friends. Matt, Sam, back to you. All right, Steph, and another poll by Gene site backs this up. They say 40% of Americans feel depressed or anxious around election season. Another 35% say they've already... Hi, I'm Matt Lincoln for CBS 12 News. Click the like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.